What's up y'all? It's Riz Flex and welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday, July 8th, 2022. People are getting indicted for financial fraud, S misconduct, um, resignations in politics, people in the media, and then like some of these people are related and then it goes international and it just gets freaking crazy y'all. So you're in for a treat. Don't forget all links that I reference in this video will be beneath this exact video posted to my Rumble account. I like to cite all of my sources. Before I get into the video, let's give a special thank you to the sponsors of the Riskflex research for this video. You know who it is. It's Ageless Glow. Ageless Glow is a product that I use every single day. After I get out of the shower, I put it on my face and it takes away any fine lines, wrinkles, sagging neck and cheek skin. So when you have a, uh, when you wanna put on your makeup, it's an easier application. If you just wanna protect your skin from the sun or UV radiation or anything, Glow With Wrist Flex. You can go to glowwithwristflex.com to pick up yours. It's a lightweight serum. It's great for all skin types. And each purchase that you make donates a meal to a hungry child in your honor through their partnership with the No Kid Hungry campaign. We thank Ageless Glow, awesome product. Thousands of Wrist Flex users are hopping on the Ageless Glow bandwagon, y'all. Okay. Without further ado, here we go. This is the complete list of all of the departures from Boris Johnson's ministry. And it is historic, record-breaking amounts of resignations, which is what caused my initial start to my research today. So these are all just the ones from 2022. Some started in January, April, May, June. This was around the Partygate scandal that just unfolded. And it all happened with this one dude that got caught up with P-rings and then a mass amount of over 50 other people from Boris Johnson's cabinet here resigned. Over 50, historic. This has never happened before. You're looking at all of the people right here. And they tell us right down here, they say, a historic mass resignation, largest number of ministerial resignations in a 24 hour period, more than tripling the previous record of 11 in 1932. A following statement by the prime minister that confirmed these people were aware of S misconduct allegations by this dude, Chris Pincher. Okay, before he was appointed to this very high position within the government. These people alerted Boris Johnson to what was going on, and then um, it's like they all just decide to resign over it. Um, Partygate caused a huge investigation into their cabinet where they were partying during the lockdowns, and then they discovered during that investigation they were doing illegal things with underage people, and um, it was a real scandalous. And so all these people were aware. Uh, Partygate scandal, interesting. It, it comes around the same time that little Jizzy just got a 20-year sentence. It's rumored that Jizzy might actually get sent back over to Britain because this is where she like resided. They might send her there. I don't know. Uh, she was, you know, close with the royal family. Here we have D. Clan Donnelly. He's beyond devastated because his brother just passed away. His brother is a Roman Catholic priest. So, the, so D. Can, D. Clan Donnelly is a celebrity within Britain. He hosts Britain's Got Talent. He was in many TV shows, prominent top celebrity figure in Britain. His name is D. Clan or Deek or something like that. Sorry if I pronounced this wrong. His brother was a Roman Catholic priest his name was Dermot, and he passed away at the young age of 55, collapsed after a mysterious illness. They're confused what happened. It was a mystery. He worked at the St. Joseph's Church in Stanley within the county of Durham. Did you guys know that Hillary Clinton's family is from Durham? We'll get there. So this priest that passed away, he actually just recently in April visited Boris Johnson and did some prayers with him. Boris Johnson and all of them, they all stepped down because of S allegations. And now we have this 
Roman Catholic priest. I'm trying to figure out if he's low-key Jesuit or something. I couldn't find out any connection to that, but if you guys want to help me look there. The reason why I'm wondering if he's Jesuit is because these people are all related to top celebrity status people within the media. Not only in Britain, but in the U.S. of the freaking A to y'all in Hillary Clinton's hometown. Okay? So here we have Stanley Dipton and Brymore Catholic Parishes within uh, Britain who announced the passing of this celebrity billionaire family priest that passed away. I was looking up their, their Facebook is where they announced that this priest died. And just June 27th, they were actually celebrating uh, his 13th anniversary of being a priest. Here we have Stanley County, Durham, where he preached. This is also where Hillary Clinton came from, okay? Hillary Clinton's great-grandfather, Jonathan Rodham II, is from this dude's town. I remember, oh yeah, I remember we did a video on the underground mines in, I believe, Durham. The year was 1879, and the area was an industrial powerhouse with many pits across the coal-rich countryside. Remember, we did a video on the uh, ice boxes. But three years after Hugh's birth, his own father, a miner named Jonathan Rodham, for reasons unknown, moved his family to Pennsylvania in the United States where the boy was raised. So her father was raised in Pennsylvania, um, actually in Scranton where Joey B is from. But then they moved over to Chicago, Illinois. Brian Bogan, 57, father of two, he works for the Darlington Borough Council a borough within the county of Durham. His name is Brian Bogan. He's a politician in Durham, where Hillary Clinton's from. Turns out he did his genealogy on his lunch break while he was, you know, working in the politics and found out he was related to little Hillary. His, they, they share great, great, great grandparents. Jonathan Rodham, who was born in 1779 at Bartley Fell, and Ann Parkinson, born at 1789. Mr. Bob is the council's assistant director of regeneration. So I'm looking up what this dude does, being sitting on you know the council's assistant director of regeneration, and I found some meeting meeting minutes, and this is one of the things that he does. He oversees this committee called doing. It's called Children and Young People Scrutiny Committee. So he oversees how children are being taken care of and budgeted for in Durham County. This is Hillary Clinton's relative. So Jesuit.org. This is a map of all of the Jesuit parishes and churches in North America. I could be wrong. Maybe this map is wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is all of North America, including Canada and the United States. Why aren't there really that many in Canada? Why are they, like, all in the United States? I don't know. But there actually are a couple on this map that are in Canada. One here, one over here, and then one right here. Oh, wait. What is that? What is that? It's like the, it's like the one Jesuit parish in Canada. And where is it located? Haven't we done some videos on this area? Oh wait, yeah. That's the top right corner of North Dakota. That's exactly in the location where that girlie was fired and she was caught running bio labs, not only in this area, but in Wuhan. Um, and then Bill Gates and the CCP purchased farmland up in the top right here, just a spit throw away from that area. Anyway, just wanted to mention there's a little Jesuit um, uh, perish there. Listen, the only thing that spiked my initial concern about the Jesuit thing was when Dr. Greer said that he was at a meeting in Arizona with the CEOs of this food company. I believe it was Smithfield. 
they said that they are connected to this high order of Jesuit priests that have access to black accounts of limitless amounts of money. Like high order Jesuit priests that control like secret technology and crazy stuff. So that's the only reason why I'm like paying attention to like where all these places are. So here is D-Clan Donnelly, equivalent of a Hollywood celebrity in Britain. Runs Britain's Got Talent. His brother was a pastor, a Roman Catholic pastor, which is a part of the Jesuit. It's like a section of Jesuit, Roman Catholic. He did a little genealogy dig on himself. Found out he's related to a bunch of these billionaires. Huh, who would have guessed? Who would have guessed he was? We have D. Clan Donnelly, uh, brother of this priest. They find out, okay, this priest that passed away, he was related to these people in Britain, also related to this girl named Dixie Carter. And who's Dixie Carter? She was the former president of TNA, basically like a subset of like the WWE. She's this wrestling mogul of America. She was the front face of it for a good while, all into the, the whole wrestling scene. Um, and so I just noticed that some other people in the wrestling scene in America are getting, you know, caught up for illegal stuff. Vince McMahon, who's the, uh, the family of the WWE, he started WWE, uh, he was having S with people outside of the marriage, but we don't know much detail about it. Uh, front face of the media, dude in the U.S. here getting shut down. We have, you know, priests affiliated with the S rings getting shut down. We also have, who's this? We have another another front face in the, in the media getting erased out of the public eye in whichever way that may be. Yeah. Botched star Paul Nassif reveals his older brother Chris Nassif passed away unexpectedly on Wednesday. Another random young, perfectly healthy, celebrity status type of person mysteriously pass away. His older brother was a talent agent and film producer. His name is Chris Nassip. Film producer. Bevan Prince's husband died after getting randomly struck by lightning off the coast of North Carolina. So Hillary is not only related to politicians in Britain that are controlling how children are being cared for there, but remember her little bestie British spy, Christopher Steele, that helped her with the Steele dossier. She has besties within the intelligence community in Britain, is what that means. The Miami-Dade Tower collapse was in a major Jewish community. We found out that the guy that created the Miami-Dade Towers also created a nonprofit in Washington, D.C. called Jinza. It's a Jewish community of people within government that are Jewish that are working to protect the national security of America. A lot of people from within Jinza ended up working as national security aides for George Bush, okay, the president during 9-11. Not only the Miami Dade Tower collapse, remember the synagogue hostage holdup in Texas. Now we're having in Illinois, the Highland Park shooter. It was in a heavily Jewish area. Add to the list, y'all. We have FBI Director Christopher Wray and said that China was the biggest long-term threat to our economy and national security. Uh, just be careful, guys. We have a huge threat coming from China. All right, guys, send China all the oil. Send them all the oil. What? Um, Nick Cannon salutes Elon Musk for helping end the underpopulation crisis. Nick Cannon, who's expecting his ninth child, they congratulated Elon on fathering twins last year. In response to the investor's tweet about going, about doing his best to help the underpopulation crisis, Cannon hilariously replied, right there with you, brother. Yeah, I mean, there's also like some credible evidence to believe that we do have an underpopulation thing going on. I'm not really sure. A collapsed birth rate is the biggest danger. A collapsing birth rate is the biggest danger civilization faces by far. Wow. And on those stones that just combusted in Georgia, it talked about trying to keep the population to like only like 500 million or something. It's 
Yes, the Japanese president also, keep that one in mind too. He, the Japanese president was, let me pull it up. Because I like to cite my sources. He was the longest serving prime minister in Japanese history. Okay, so if anybody within Japan, which is like one of our largest allies, he's part of the G7, you know, Japan, it's like one of the huge global leaders, Japan. He actually appointed the current Japanese uh, diplomat that is working with the G7, the dude that just got shot, uh, Abe. So if anybody knows anything about, you know, what's going on behind the scenes, it's this guy in Japan. Japan, also one of the countries that holds a lot of Russia's gold. President Trump put out a statement on his website saying that, you know, he's really saddened by this. Abe was really good friends with Trump. You know, when you're running countries together, yeah. I, I sure hope y'all get along up there. Don't let us have to get in the middle of it. Be your little pawns. Banks are all down. Oh. Flew past. Banks all down. Due to Rogers' internet being down in Canada, why are they all hooked up to Rogers? I'll have to look into it. I'm not sure. Alright, y'all, I'm going to crop this video up and take out all the discussion parts. Thank you for joining me live. It's the best way to get the content. Don't forget to follow me on social media platforms. Subscribe to my backup channels. I love you guys so much. I hope you stay safe. I hope you meditate and pray to God. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye.